By November, the University of Kentucky basketball team will deploy a planet-annihilating skills of the single greatest recruiting class in the sport's 100-plus year history. That's according to Dennis Berman, who is not only in Kentucky, but is from there. He joins us now on the phone. Uh, Dennis, uh, tell us about this. Hi, Simon. Well, I had the occasion to visit Rupp Arena, the home of the UK team, uh, on Saturday when my team, the team I prefer, the University of Louisville, uh, ran through uh, its second tournament game and uh, quite handily beat Colorado State. So I was sent there by the sports editor. I said, go write about what you found there about Kentucky and Louisville. And uh, the column I wrote, uh, which you mentioned there, is, uh, is what I came back with. So, so a, a planet, I mean, it, it's kind of hard to pronounce that, but a planet annihilating skills of the single greatest recruiting class in the sport's 100 plus year history. Um, no hyperbole there, Dennis. No, well, it's really a study, for me, a study in contrast to watch a Louisville team. They have a lot of talented players. They're, they're um, certainly high up there in the rankings. Uh, Rick Pitino, the coach of Louisville, has really made them gel and turned them into the top-ranked seed in this, this year's tournament. But sort of looming overhead, right, literally looming overhead inside Rupp Arena, the U.K. arena, was the expectation that six McDonald's All-Americans, the highest honor you can have in college mm. basketball, six of them, uh, the most ever will be joining UK's team next year, and so that that bitter rivalry between between Louisville and Kentucky was on display inside Rupp Arena. I, I drew a few conclusions from that, though, Simon, and the mm -hmm. UK fans are not happy with me. Uh, the point I was really trying to make was the difference between a team that sort of gels together, perhaps mm -hmm. doesn't have the single most talented group of people, but who together as a team form uh, a very powerful force and that's really on display in Louisville to, uh, today and this display in Rupp Arena on Saturday. To me the difference between that and just getting the single most talented group of people possible onto your floor, running them through for a year and then they all depart for the NBA. It's just a, a different uh, style and approach to assembling a team for college basketball and and in the end I call Kentucky's approach a hollow approach. That it was about it was about marketing that John Calipari, mm -hmm. the coach, was really about uh, was all about recruiting and not necessarily about the process thereafter. And uh, UK fans are angry, but I'm going to stand by my column.